Hello everyone, this is Greg Tastic, and today I'm going to be showing you something uh, interesting. Um, right off the bat, before we get into this, I want to say that this is not my work or anything that I figured out. I'm just showing it off because it's something I came across yesterday and thought was cool. If I do something myself, I'll take credit for it. If I didn't do something, I'll give credit. So if you look down in the description, I'm going to have a link to the Reddit. Uh, thread where I found this on and also I'm gonna link to the links that the reddit thread included as you know credit or source to who actually came up with this but now that I've said all that what we're looking at is the a way to get RetroArch to run locally on your Steam link so I have a USB flash drive uh, inserted into my Steam link right now and on that flash drive is the uh, the file or files that were in the link in the description if you download that and unzip it you place it on a flash drive and when you boot up the steam link with the flash drive inserted this is going to pop up and basically you're going to be able to install RetroArch onto the actual steam link itself uh, some things to say uh, one you have to actually like reboot the steam link so like I would just take the plug out and put it back in it has to do like a full reboot um you can't just i forget how i tried to do it before i went over here and i turned off the system and then i turned it back on and it actually didn't uh pop up but when i actually um took the power out and put it back in it came up um another thing that i would tell you is that there are like some cores uh pre included with this package I'm not sure if other cores were to work or not because you could actually like edit the package and put other files in there I'm not sure if those cores would work or if they only included these cores because they're the only ones that work I would have to look more into that but what I do know is you can't use the online updater to download new cores so when you install this whatever you install is what you get also, you can install, if you want to play ROMs, you could install the ROMs uh, with the package. You could also put the ROM files in the package, but I'm going to do it a different way. There's a way we could kind of like uh, transfer them over to the Steam link from our computer, which is more uh, what I would like to do. So I actually haven't done this yet, but I want to keep this video short, so I'm going to go ahead and press A. And we're gonna see what happens. Oh, that's it. Oh shit. I hold on. I'm gonna pause right here and come back in 20 seconds. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and load up RetroArch. I actually keep having to redo this because I said I was doing this on the fly, and um, RetroArch is starting to get on my nerves a little bit between using it on the Mi Box and using it on Steam Link, it really doesn't have support for a lot of things. And it really annoys me with how the binding can get really messed up. I don't know, like, I'll have to look at more into why it's like that. But I saw someone on the thread say that their one of their buttons on their PS4 controller wasn't working. And I'm having that same issue. First of all, you gotta plug your keyboard a keyboard into the Steam Link because it's not gonna have support for the uh, controller. Uh, right off the bat, and but what you can do is you could go to uh, settings. You go to input. I'm gonna turn this on so that I don't lose my keyboard as a unified menu controls basically just lets your keyboard still uh, edit the work in the menu after you've already binded a controller and I'm turning that on because I have all this all these issues with things working so that is my controller it's a retro pad with analog sure and left analog sure we'll go with that here's my issue I go to bind, whoops, I go to bind all, B button works, Y, select, start, up oh, on the D-pad does not work. 
Left on the D-pad does not work. Who would have thought? Who would have guessed? A button, X button, L, R, L, R, L3, R3. Right, left, down, up, right, left, down, up. Okay, so I did all that. And yet I can't, I'm trying to set it up again and it's not working. I can't, I'm not going to be able to control the menu with the, well, never mind controlling the menu. I'm not going to be able to use a D-pad in a game because the way the uh, retro arc, the way it's set up is, it's just not working. I could still use the keyboard. Oh, and I keep hitting the wrong button because RetroArch also like their default uh, buttons for uh, and actually the fact that I couldn't set up up on the gamepad is not allowing me to use up on the keyboard I got that issue sometimes in uh, in uh, the using the Mi Box too so this thing is like pissing me off. Let me try one thing though. I want to see something if I, I and then they they do Z and X as back and and like confirm for the con menu and I don't understand why they did that. It's like I I could get used to it, but it's just kind of dumb and I forget which one is which. And I keep going, I want to get to bind all. I want to see if, if I change it to uh, analog to digital to none, if it will let me bind the... Uh... Nope, doesn't let me do it. Let me just escape out of this real quick. Well, <laughs> there you go. Uh, it still has a few kinks to work out, but that is RetroArch on the Steam Link. I'm going to make some more videos on it. I'm going to show you how to uh, load... ROMs onto the Steam Link. I'll probably connect another type of controller and try and see if I could get it to work any better. That was an Xbox One controller and I couldn't get the D-pad to uh, bind. I'm not sure why. I have like on the Mi Box I had a lot of issues with the Xbox One controllers. I'm not sure if it's because I tried to hook two of them up via Bluetooth and the Mi Box couldn't handle it or if RetroArch couldn't handle it. I've been having a lot of issues with RetroArch and getting controllers to work. Not on the PC. On the PC it works fine. It's easy. But on other devices it's like a little difficult and I have a little bit of a rant to make that. I may even make that its own video. But um, in order of what I'm going to do next I'll probably show you guys how to load ROMs onto the uh, Steam Link and then after that I'll show off a game actually playing on it although I don't know what controller I'll use to do that but I'll do all that off screen and try and get myself better together because I just wanted to show you guys how to get it on there and I didn't realize that it was going to be such an issue but I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching